me ask you a question. What is the very most favorite thing that you own? Maybe it's a video game or a toy, a stuffed animal, or even a pet you have. Okay, tell me what it is. Yell it out, I can't hear you. Ooh, I want one of those, that sounds cool. Now, let me ask you another question. Did that thing always belong to you? Like if it's a toy, did it come from a store? Um, or if it's your pet, like if you have a dog, did it come from a shelter or did it someone else own it first? Everything comes from somewhere, doesn't it? Actually, everything comes from someone. I bet you know who it is, but zip your lips. Keep that in the back of your brain. Let's listen to the gospel today because Jesus is going to give us a hint of where everything comes from. So wherever you are right now, whatever you're doing, I want you to stand up for the good news of Jesus Christ and clap and sing with me. Halle, halle, halle. According to Matthew, glory to you, O Lord, and may the word be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. The Pharisees got together and planned how they could trick Jesus into saying something wrong. They sent some of their followers and some of Herod's followers to say to him, Teacher, we know that you are honest. You teach the truth about what God wants people to do. And you treat everyone with the same respect, no matter who they are. Tell us what you think. Should we pay taxes to Caesar or not? Jesus knew their evil thoughts and said, Why are you trying to test me, you show-offs? Let me see one of the coins used for paying taxes. They brought him a silver coin and he asked, Whose picture and name are on it? Caesar's, they answered. Then Jesus told them, Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and give to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, do you have a coin on you or somewhere in your house? I want you to go find one. It could be a quarter, a penny, a dime, anything, any coin. Okay, I'll, I'll pause while you go do that. Okay. Are you back? Do you, do you have a, the coin? I have a quarter here, but any coin will work. I want you to look at the heads. And we say that because on most coins, there's a picture of someone's head on there, right? And if we look above that, it says United States of America. That picture and that inscription, those words tell us who this coin belongs to. It belongs to the United States. It tells us where it comes from. You know what's interesting? It also says, in God we trust. So even though this comes from one place, we know that everything else comes from one place. Actually, one person. Everything comes from God. That's what Jesus said today. Give to Caesar, he was the ruler at the time of the Roman Empire, give to him what belongs to him. If he's got a coin with his face and his name on it, give it to him. But give to God what belongs to God. Well, what do you think belongs to God? Let me ask you, does the sky belong to God? Well, he made the sky, so I, I guess so. Do your clothes belong to God? You may be thinking, those clothes belong to me. Well, God gave us the cotton and the different materials that clothes could be made of, and he put you in a situation where you can have clothes. You know, not everybody has a lot of clothes. So that was a gift from God, wasn't it? And the food you've eaten so far today and the food you're gonna eat later today, did God give you that? Yeah, everything comes from God. God loves us so much that he has filled the world with wonderful things. And they are all gifts from God. With each thing, every bite you take, every breath of air you take, whatever you put on, you put on shoes or anything, God is saying, I love you. I give this to you. Do you know what one of the greatest gifts God has given this world? 
You. Yeah, you and me. All people are a gift from God. And he loves us so much, just like this coin has a face on it. At our baptism, Jesus puts his face on our heart. And he writes his name of love right on our heart. And he says, you belong to me. I choose you. I love you. But Jesus in that gospel said, give to God what belongs to God. So if you and I belong to God, we need to give ourselves to God, right? Wow, how do we do that? Well, whenever we spend time to God, we're giving ourselves to God. Whenever we pray with God, when we come to church, I bet there may have been other things you'd want to be watching right now, but you're giving God time right now. You belong to God and you're giving yourself to Him right now. Awesome job. There are so many ways we can give our lives to God. When we help one another, whenever we follow God's commandments of love, we are giving our lives to God because we belong to to him. So I want you to think about ways that you can give yourself to God and think about all the gifts he's given you to help you do that. You know, not only the things you own, but think about the gifts he's given you. Some of you are really talented. Actually, all of you are really talented. You do different things. You have great minds. You have great hearts. God is giving you those so that you can live wonderful lives, giving back to him and giving to one another. So look around you right now. Thank God for the gifts you have and think about how you can give them back out of love. Talk to your parents or grandparents how you can do that. You know, we had a really wonderful gift in this parish that went home to God uh, this week. You may know him. His name was Mr. Kingsley. He was always at that organ every Sunday playing beautiful music, helping us give praise to God and give our hearts to God. And he went home to God because he belonged to God and God chose him. So I'd love to say a prayer for Mr. Kingsley right now. Let's pray that the angels are making beautiful music for him right now as they welcome him home to heaven because he belongs there. He belongs to God. And let's pray for all of us that we can give our lives to God. Okay, let's end like we usually do. Okay, find a partner, point to your heart and say, God lives in me. Yep, God pressed his face right on your heart. You belong to him. Okay, point to your partner's heart and say, God lives in you. Wiggle your fingers and say, the Holy Spirit moves in me. Wiggle your fingers in front of your partner's face and say, the Holy Spirit moves in you. Point outside and say, let's go spread the good news. We'll see you next week.